Hi, I'm Doug Adams, Doug from Doug's Apple Scripts for iTunes, located at DougScripts.com. Today I'm going to get into a little artwork management with a script named Reapply Downsized Artwork. What it does is resize iTunes track artwork to a smaller image size. Just select one or more tracks, or a playlist of tracks, and launch the script. And right away it displays the information for the first track in the selection, or in this case, the first track in the selected playlist. You've got name, artist, and album of the track. It's one of 200 tracks in the playlist we're looking at. Information about the artwork. And the artwork itself. Using these arrow keys, you can display the information for each track in the playlist. And as you can see, it pulls up the artwork for each track. All right. Let me go to another playlist now, and I'll show you how we're going to downsize some artwork. And I don't need iTunes right now, so we'll make a little room. Now, for this album, each track's artwork has a resolution of 600 by 600 at 72 dots per inch, pixels per inch, which is pretty big. Um, the artwork image is scaled to fit the size of this image well. Here's the current screen size of the image well. So when I change the size of the window, the image will scale to fit the well. But to inspect the quality of the image, you might want to see it at its actual screen resolution. Now, if I were to view this image at 100% in Photoshop or Acorn or Preview app, it would be this size on my screen. Okay, uh, I want to shrink the artwork of these tracks from 600 by 600 pixels to 300 by 300, so I've entered 300 here. Now, I'd like to preview the images to see if 300 by 300 provides enough quality. Click Preview. And there it is at the actual screen size. Preview off. Preview on. To preview it scaled up larger or smaller, I have to turn off actual size. And the image scales up. It's kind of kind of jaggy. It's tough to see in this video, but it is a little jaggy. Uh, the size of the artwork well tells me that this is over 600 pixels square, but it's unlikely I'm ever going to see this artwork scaled to this size on my screen. More likely scaled to about this size. Each track's artwork should look pretty good at 300. They all have the same artwork data, so there's no reason they shouldn't. Now I can either click on the Apply to All button, which will apply my new resolution setting to each track's artwork, or I can just do the current track by clicking the Apply button here. But I'm going to do all of them. And in a few moments, the artwork for each track will be downsized to 300 by 300 pixels and written back to the track. And by the way, nothing gets written out to the tracks until you click one of the Apply buttons, so you can preview different settings before actually committing. Really quickly, I want to show you two other things you may want to use. The Pad to Make Square setting will pad out a less than square piece of artwork with your choice of white padding or black. You can export the current displayed image as a file by selecting Save Displayed Image in the File menu. The name of the applet again is Reapply Downsized Artwork. It's free to use, full featured for 10 days, after which it's just $1.99. Thanks for watching. I'm Doug Adams from Doug's Apple Scripts for iTunes, DougScripts.com. I'll talk to you next time.